Stephen Kenny, the same Pats manager, he's hoping that they can carry their European form into domestic action tonight as St. Patrick's Athletic take on Sligo Rovers. Kazim. Kazim rolling it down the line for Mulraney. Mulraney breaks kindly for Kazim. Keane is in the box, he wants the pullback. Kazim, oh, that's not what the Pats players were looking for. Uh, the end product from Kazim is not good enough. The Sligo players are giving out to the referee. They're saying the ball was definitely out of play. And all three of them, to be fair, did seem to stop. Didn't see anything there on the replay that have made me yeah. stop. Great ball to Soberg, who's got a lot of green grass to run into. Sends it on to Levy. Soberg making the underlapping run. Levy takes it on, does it all himself. Levy doesn't beat the goalkeeper. It would have been a tough one to beat the goalkeeper from there. Yeah, that's good play by Levy, coming in off the right wing onto his left foot. You can see when he gets it out of his feet, takes a little bit of a misstep. It's not quite there to be hit. You see it in the strike, doesn't quite get hold of it. Mallet, good work by Kazim, and then Forrester comes in to take. Lennon. Kazim is playing both as a wide midfielder, a fullback, and a midfielder at times. Mali has a goal, Mali, oh, oh what a goal. goal! Connor Mali didn't see any other options, so he said, I'll have a go, and what a goal it was. And he makes his way over to the Sligo Rovers bench to celebrate, which is very telling. Well, the away fans who have come to Richmond Park have seen something special. Well, the home fans have seen it too. But it's the away fans who are celebrating it. St. Pat's nil, Sligo Rovers won. A wonder strike by Conor Malley. It's a brilliant hit from O'Malley. As soon as he goes in, you can tell he wants to take the strike on. He sets it up, drives it with that right foot of his. A brilliant, brilliant hit. And Nang has no chance in the Pat's goal. You see the sloppy possession giveaway. Kazim. And as I was saying just before that strike, Kazim is kind of popping up everywhere. Here's Keena. Mulraney chasing after this one, taking on Pineacker. Mulraney's in here. Mulraney is tugged back. It is a penalty. Back at St. Pat's. And looking to get off the mark on his second debut for the club, if that makes sense. Keena against McGinty. Keena, he plants it, one all, what a start, what a start for Aidan Keena. That's what every new striker wants, early goal in it, at his new club, Aidan Keena has got that. Well it must be so frustrating from the Sligo Rovers point of view, they went 1-0 up through that wonderful goal by Mali and then Pinerker absolutely skinned by Mulraney fouled him and it provided Keena the chance to do that talk about a confidently struck penalty away it goes from J.R. Wilson then it nods it down to Forrester thought Forrester might have a go from there Soberg Mulraney who's popped up on the opposite wing Mulraney's cross it looks decent oh Palmer wasn't far away at all Easy to say, I know, but he might have been better off letting it off because Keener was coming in on the, the near post as we look. But yeah. Palmer went for it and almost got it. He just gets too much on the header. Again, it's brilliant play on the wing for Mulraney. He comes back in onto that left foot of his, whips it into a lovely area, straight onto the head of Palmer. Fan. He's probably a little bit Did ahead of it. Keener. Keener, nice little chip. Lennon. Tries to find Smolrainy, but it was intercepted. It wasn't a very good ball. And now Fitzgerald will go on the attack. Fitzgerald against Lennon. Fitzgerald, decent looking ball. Oh, that's a very, very good header. It's Chapman. It's 2-1 to Sligo Rovers. Chapman soaks up the applause from the visiting supporters. And why wouldn't he? Well, I just spoke about Fitzgerald's quality on the wing the last time. Didn't quite pick anybody out. 
this time he does it's a brilliant little ball into the six yard box as soon as Fitzgerald pick, picks it up Pats lose the ball Fitzgerald drives down the wing it's a lovely little pick out by Chapman we spoke about how tall he was he doesn't have to jump it's an inch perfect cross from Fitzgerald Chapman meets a flush on the forehead drives a pass down Ang now it's over to St. Pats to see how they can react again goal number 8 in the league for Chapman this season it would have been so tempting for him to just smash it away but he actually did get it under control now it's Waweru now it's Soberg here's Turner pressurised by Chapman Bresden if he was under pressure he didn't show it there Turner Bresden Mulroney Kavanagh Kavanagh it's in the bounce took a pass McGinty Kavanagh gets the equaliser Well, that means a lot to Brandon Kavanagh. It means a lot to St. Pat's. He got a bit of a lucky bounce, but he won't care. He's fourth of the season, makes it St. Pat's two, Sligo Rovers two. That's good build-up play from St. Pat's. So he wants to get the ball into Mulraney. There's too much space, gets it into Kavanagh. Nobody comes and engages from a Sligo point of view probably happy with him taking the shot on 35 yards out it's a good strike but there's no getting away from it Ed McGinty should save that that's the brilliant El go ahead a brilliant defensive running from Solberg here's a good attacking run hopefully from El Bizzetti. that's brilliant from El Bizzetti. Mealy is in the box as is Mulraney as is Kavanagh here comes the cross Morahan that could have gone anywhere it's out for a corner kick brilliant from El Bizzetti. one on one with Hutchinson just flicks a pass and gets down the wing delivers a good ball in Hutchinson needs to do better it's too easy to be beat there it's too flat Mulraney is replaced Cavana tells Bresden to go out wide I think this is going straight into the mixer Cavana aiming it towards Turner Turner goes to ground penalty oh, for St. Pat's no. Brandon Kavanagh has the ball in hand. He will take the pen penalty. And a red card flash to, I think, John Russell, of course, a former St. Pat's player. And it's a long wait. Will it be worth the wait? Kavanagh. It's in. It's surely a winner for St. Pat's. It's a second for Brandon Kavanagh. It's St. Pat's three. Sligo Rovers 2 that's a brilliant finish from Kavanagh always look confident we've had a little mini pitch invasion after that as well it is just kids just to be clear but they shouldn't be on the pitch Brandon Kavanagh his second of the night is it the goal that seals the victory for St. Pat's and gives their League of Ireland season a massive boost it would still be a huge huge ask almost an impossible ask to get near that top four or get into the top four but if they keep winning games it's a possibility it looks like maybe just maybe they've done enough to win this one with Sligo Rovers may get one more chance here it is launched forward and then cool as you like and that's it St. Pat's with a late late show Get the victory against Sligo Rovers, who twice went ahead in this game. Twice they were pegged back. But in the finish, it's St. Pat's who have their noses in front. St. For me, Pat it's a very, very soft penalty. I've had a quick look at the replay. Still nothing has suggested otherwise. The Sligo manager's been sent off for his protest, and I have sympathy with him. I think there's two really soft penalties given against Sligo tonight. The final score, St. Pat's 3, Sligo Rovers 2, from Keith Tracy, myself, Oshin Langan, and all the team here in Richmond Park. I will say goodbye and enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend.